ICRISAT organizes Pearl Millet Scientist Field Day once in two years. This year in 2022, we have organized this field day on 3rd and 4th of October. About 81 scientists have come to participate in this event from about 50 organizations. There are about 17,000 plots of breeding materials, which consists of hybrid parental lines, some varieties, some new hybrids also. So these partners will select these materials and develop cultivars, promising cultivars for, the, for cultivation at the farmer's field in their breeding programs. So partners are there, let us hear what they have felt after going through the breeding materials. Acresad has one of, uh, if not the, the most diverse germoplasma per millet. You can get like so many traits with it, so that is important for our program. Um, Brazil is very specific, the environment, so uh, we have all the work to validate, so anything that comes from Ecricide, we, we must try in Brazil to see if the trait is still um, expressed in our environment. And I see a change in the uh, people who are breeding now, people are trying to develop more material for uh, requiring and meeting the requirements of the A1 zone where the annual rainfall is very less. And also because of the climate change, we also need to see the changes in the adaptability of the material. So uh, I've been telling Ikriset and requesting Dr. S.K. Gupta also that we need to have material which is more uh, suitable for A1 zone. And I think they have started it. But yeah, it needs to be built up more. The blast is becoming a more problem now day by day. So I think that's a concern area. And when, during this field day, what I have seen is when I took a round in one of the block where the blast tolerant germplasm is displayed. So we could select a lot of blast tolerant germplasm. I think it's a good step towards improving the blast tolerance in the program. So that's a significant uh, progress, which I am noticing compared to the previous field day and the, this field day.